Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and I believe this is part 13 of The Sims 4 Island Living. Um, so, unfortunately, well, I don't know if it's unfortunate, but um, we are going to be wrapping up this series because I feel like we've gotten everything we can out of this pack. Um, and I can kind of give some of my final thoughts on the pack at the end of the video, but I'm pretty sure that this will probably be the last part, and we're just going to kind of end things a little bit. Um, I kind of said from the beginning that it wasn't really um, going to be a long-term series on my channel. It was just sort of a mini Let's Play. And um, so I think 13 parts is pretty good, and I've had a lot of fun with it. I am pretty attached to this family. We might come back to them one day, um, but I kind of want to focus on some other things on my channel right now, so I am going to sort of neatly wrap things up in this part. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to do some island stuff, uh, which is pretty much what we've been, what we've been doing so far. Um, so we had $9,000. I thought a fun way to sort of end the series would be to spend their money, because I always said that I wanted them to, oh, hold on, my game audio is off, I believe. Yes, it is. Whoa, super loud. Okay, so, um, yeah, I wanted to spend that $9,000 just to sort of upgrade their home and um, make it just, I don't know, make it better, I guess. I always thought that the end goal would be to move to a nicer part of the island, but I honestly believe that this family loves this part of the island and they wouldn't want to leave. They wouldn't want to leave their little house. So, We've upgraded things instead. I added a swing set here. Uh, we're going to check out this $9,000 renovation. Um, so, I mean, really, I didn't do a ton. Just added some more details, like in the bedroom, nothing really, just this plant and some some curtains. Upgraded their toilet. I added a rug in the front. Uh, we've got a bookshelf here. A couple of things on the wall that we didn't have before. These curtains we didn't have. Um, the flowers on the table. Um, this wall hanging and these little hanging terrariums we didn't have before either. Also got them a new stove. We upgraded that. Um, for the kids' bedrooms, we didn't do anything, I don't think. Um, back here, we've got like a little seating area with a table, a couple of chairs, um, a few things on the wall, some flowers there, and most importantly, I did get them a boat as well. So they've got this thing now. I actually don't know what this thing is called. The Conservationist Canoe. So I got that for Kai because I thought that he would enjoy it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. They didn't do too much with their house, but I thought, you know, we could just spend that money, upgrade things a little bit, make it a bit nicer, and um, here we are. So I'm gonna get Kai to go for a sale. Um, the twins, I don't really know what they're up to. Making a mess, mostly. That's what they like to do. Uh, and then Leilani is just swimming around in her mermaid form. She seems to really love being a mermaid, so I'm happy that we kind of did that for her. Um, she really enjoys it. She spends all of her time in the ocean. And then Maui, I do wonder if he can like, oh no, he can only have one at a time. But either way, Kai is setting sail on his brand new canoe. So I think that's really cool that he could get this and um, finally have one for himself. Because what we've been doing lately is just stealing these ones in the ocean just to borrow or whatever. But this one is actually his, it belongs to him. He can use it as much as he wants. And... Then, I do want to complete um, Leilani's aspiration today, if we could. So I'm going to get her to go on the, um, let's relax. The last thing she has to do for her aspiration is doze off while relaxing in lounge chair or float lounger. So I'm going to get her to just kind of spend as much time there as possible. And... Then Maui, um, maybe he could come and build a sand castle, build a sand sculpture. Also, we have a few of these things planted around. These are, I believe, pineapple plants, and I think we have one coconut somewhere. This might be a coconut tree. Yeah, it's a coconut tree, so that's good. Um, the twins, I believe, oh, I thought they were going to age up, but they're not. They have four days till they age up. And then Maui has four days till he ages up as well. So I do feel like this is a good place to leave it. And if we ever do want to come back to this family, um, then we will probably just, I mean, we're going to, I'm not going to play a, a dance them any further. Like if we ever came back, it would just be to sort of pick up where we left off. But um, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are about ending this series though. Um, it hasn't been like the most popular on my channel, so I'm not totally sure how many people are have really been following along. But um, if you do want to see them come back, then let me know because we can definitely work that in. But for now, I think 
we've just gotten a lot out of this pack. Everything we can, really, and um, I'm enjoying it, but I think that's I think that's about it. That's really all we can do. Um, I don't think she's going to fall asleep anytime soon because she's not even tired, so I'm going to get her to relax twice in a row. The Spice Festival is in town. That really doesn't mean anything for us. That doesn't mean a damn thing. Um, oh, there's dolphins here. Let's go um, survey ocean and wildlife. Oh, see, and with the career as well, we didn't get to level 10, but I mean, I didn't really care that much about that, to be perfectly honest. It didn't make a huge difference to me, so I'm all right with it. I'm going to get him to go snorkeling. Uh, but we did get to check out that career a little bit and find out that um, it's not really that interactive of a career you just send your sim to work and that's pretty much it I kind of expected more so in terms of the career I'm a little bit disappointed about that um I kind of hoped that we would get to be a little bit more involved also the lifeguard and the diver career both pretty lame um they're not that fun I'm gonna send Leilani off to work I don't know where she has to work today I think she only has uh, she's going to be a diver today. Okay, well, she can go do that. And then, is he still building a sink? Oh, no, he's done. The twins have just destroyed the house while we've been gone. What is this floating thing? That's pork. I don't know why there's pork just floating in midair, but... Okay, I'm going to get him to fill up the dog bowl, take out the trash, clean this up. Maui has to take care of his twin brother and sister because apparently his parents are just too busy exploring the island. Um... What can we do here? Can he can he fish over this thing? I'm pretty sure you can fish. I thought you could. Let's go sit on it, maybe. I, I, I totally thought you could stand up and fish on Oh, there we go. Go fishing. Um, except I don't actually think he likes fishing because he's a child of the island. Oh, no. That's the um, child of the ocean or something like that. Those are the ones that don't like fishing. But Kai, um, he'll be fine. He will enjoy it. So that's good. He can He can do some fishing. I am definitely going to be playing in Sulani again. Maybe not with this family, but with the Aspirations Challenge, I'll definitely come back. Um, I actually, if you do want to see some more um, island living kind of stuff, I am exploring that a little bit in my Aspirations Challenge right now. Um, my sim is currently dating someone from Sulani, and she has spent a bit of time in Sulani, and I had considered moving there as well. So... Um, if you're not quite done seeing some island living stuff, oh, we got a guppy. That's funny. If that's what, even what that is, I think it's a guppy. Um, but yeah, if you do want to see some more island living stuff, then just check out the aspirations challenge because we might be doing some more stuff over there. Um, but I don't really have a plan. So I have no promises, but we have been there before. And oh, look at the full moon. You can see it reflecting in the water. That's very pretty. Um, so when Leilani gets home, I'm going to get her to go on that uh, lounger and hopefully fall asleep. Um, I really think Kai should come home now, though. I think he should make some food for his family. Let's serve up some fried fish, maybe. I don't think Leilani will eat that, but that's okay. Um, so she's home. She is irresponsible. I don't know how that's even possible. She's an adult, but okay. Uh, let's go relax on the lounger. Still not that tired, so I really don't think she's going to fall asleep on there, but... I would just love to complete this aspiration so we can kind of neatly wrap things up, but we'll have to see if that's even a possibility. So Kai's making some fish for everybody. There's a bunch of rainbow dog poop everywhere, but that's fine. Okay, coming. Oh, he's setting the table. What a good kid. It's going to be kind of hard to leave this family because I actually really like them, especially Kai. I really like Kai a lot. Um, Maui, you can grab some food. He did set the table for four, even though three of them can actually physically sit at the table. The twins can't, but that's okay. Um, the thing is, I would really love to stick around with this family and keep playing, but the problem is, I don't have a goal or anything like that, so we've just been kind of playing to explore the island, and now that we've done that, I'm just not sure where else the story can go. Um, but man, she's cute. Look how cute Luana is. I just, I just love her. Um... So Leilani, are you going to fall asleep? Probably not. No, we have to wait until she's like probably really tired, I would say. So I'm going to get her to come in and eat some fish. Actually, no, I'm not. She will not like that. Um, I'll get her to eat something else. She won't eat the fish because she's a child of the ocean. Come, come and go. Come and go. Come and get some of that. Um, Kai, he did not finish eating his food. Please do that. 
eat fried trout. Um, both the kids, oh, I meant to get them some food and I totally forgot. Uh, what are their names? Luana and Kalua? Come and eat some food. There we go. Okay. Uh, so Lilani got some pork. That's good. She can go to the washroom when she's done. And Maui, um, he's such a good kid. He really is. Here, put this away. Clean up the table. Um, Kai has to work on his logic a little bit, so I think we could probably research conservation. I think that is part of the logic skill, but I'm not sure. I can't quite remember. Um, so both the kids ate, so that's good. I'm going to get Leilani to give um, the bubble bath to Kalua because he could sort of use one. And let's just see what skill um, Kai is currently building. I'm not sure. You don't talk to that kid. I don't know what skill this is. There we go. It is logic, so that's good. Uh, maybe I'll get him to do that one more time. And then Maui. Um, there's something gross in the barbecue, but he can do nothing about that. So that's all right. Um, he can nap. Oh, that's funny. Can he go? Can the kid just know? Kids can't go on there, which is kind of lame. That's not very fun. Um, someone's out there snorkeling right now. Can he go set the trap? I don't think kids can do a whole lot. Oh, he can set the trap. I'm going to get him to do that. I don't see why not. Why is he feeling sad? Unbearable sadness. Oh, he's in the bear phase. Oh, we all know how I feel about that. I don't like the bear face. I don't find it fun. Um, what's... We should probably get these kids to go to bed. Um, because Luana is just standing outside and probably going to make a mess any minute now. Let's go clean this up. Why? Oh, still error with the toddlers, hey? Huh, interesting. Oh, look at this. What? What? Did we grow this? Did we grow this? We did. Look at this little coconut tree. That is actually really cool. I love it. I didn't, I, that was definitely something I wanted to do, um, is grow both the, the coconut and the pineapple plants, but I'm not sure what the pineapple ones are going to do. I don't even know what pineapple trees look like, to be honest, or pineapple tr plants, I guess. Um, so those are just going to stay like that. I'm going to get her to go, uh, I don't know, swim around, spend some time in the ocean. That's what she loves to do. And then Kai, you can go to the washroom. What's Maui up to? He's just going to go cry in bed. Uh, no. <laughs> go to the washroom and then just go to sleep. Love day was awful. They didn't really do anything to celebrate that, so it doesn't surprise me. Um, I'm going to get her to, once again, lounge in the stupid chair. <laughs> I just want her to fall asleep so we can complete the aspiration and say that we at least did that much. Oh, I think he just broke the computer. Oh, oh, aspiration complete. That was, oh, we missed the whole thing. That was extremely underwhelming. <laughs> Leilani has completed a journey of relaxation and found herself. As the tide smooth pebbles on their shore, so too does beach life have a way of softening even the most uptight sin. What a weird sentence. Uh, trait earned laid back. Leilani has become so laid back that she will never become tense again. That is pretty cool though. I do, um, okay, thoughts on the aspiration. I have talked about it before. It's, it's pretty lame. Um, they definitely, um, sort of did the bare minimum with that. I feel like they just threw an aspiration there, barely even tried. It's not that fun. It's not very in-depth or interesting, but I do love the trait that you can get, um, the laid back trait. I think that's really cool how your sims can just not become tense again because they're so familiar with the island life and so, um, I don't know, just so, so laid back that they don't ever feel tense. I just think that's so cool. Uh, so that's Leilani there. That's the aspiration. We've completed that part of it. Um, maybe I'll get her to like go home and physically go to sleep and then Kai you can go to sleep as well. Then we can turn off the lights. Uh, or not. Oh, that plant is in the way. Damn it. <laughs> I was just trying to make their home nicer, but I guess we can't do that. Um, that's a Kavaru. We need to sell that. Okay, go to sleep. There we go. Those toddlers, they make a mess every chance they get. There's still another mess there. Um, so Maui, it's going to be Saturday, so he doesn't have to go to school. Leilani has to go to work to be a lifeguard, and, oh, so does he. Yes, he can go to work too. So they're both going to work. It sounds like the twins will be going to daycare for a little bit, um, and I'm totally on board with that, to be honest. Um, Maui, you can get up and grab some food out of the fridge, I guess. Get some leftovers. 
I was sort of excited to play with Leilani, or sorry, with Maui as a teen, but that's just not going to happen. Um, I definitely don't want to keep sticking around just playing until he's a teen, just, just to play him as a teen. I don't think it's really worth it. Um, that's still four days away, so, or three, I guess, but still. Oh, the bear phase. I think what we'll do is maybe just, um, go relax on that beach towel. It's gonna be hot today. Maybe we could get him a tan. I don't know if kids can actually get tans, but we're gonna find out. Or sunburns. Tell me he's gonna change out of the bear costume for this. Oh, he's not? Oh my god, he looks so stupid. Um, hold on. Let's, um, change into just, like, literally anything else. Get up. Oh, of course I cancelled it. I didn't mean to. There you go. Relax there. You're fine. He's a little bit miserable, but that's okay. Um, he's home alone, so that should be nice and relaxing. His twin um, siblings aren't around anymore, so that must be nice. Um, I don't think the kids can get tan lines, but I guess we're about to find out. I thought this would be relaxing. Um, he's uncomfortable from his filthy surroundings, but... Oh, it's... Oh. Because there's... Here, throw that away. Let's have the barbecue. That should help. If we get rid of the stinky food and the barbecue and the dog poop, I think that'll actually be an improvement. Uh, Lilo is hungry. Well, there's food there, so I can't worry about that too much. What is she sad about? Oh, and Lilani is sad because she didn't have a very good holiday. Um, which makes sense. She probably wanted to celebrate Love Day and we did nothing, so that is a little bit lame. Can we harvest this yet? Oh, we can. Let's go harvest these coconuts right now. I don't know if you can just eat them or I have no idea how this works, but I'm excited to see. Okay, so we got these. Um, eat coconut. Yeah, there we go. Okay, you know what? Not that exciting. I know, but <laughs> I really just wanted to get those coconuts. Um, and then the pineapple plants aren't really doing anything. Um, but that's fine. So let's get her to go and swim around. He's got to go back to the ocean now. And did he... He's still uncomfortable. That's a little bit lame. And the toddlers... Oh, they're hungry. I'm so sick of taking care of these two, honestly. Like, I'm over it. Um, here, come get some of this fish. There we go. Okay, so Maui, um, I'm going to get him to, like, maybe take a bath. And then Kai will be home pretty soon. And he needs to have some fun. Maybe he can go um, sail around. That sounds good. Leilani is just loving this. Like, she just loves the ocean. I love that she's always in a good mood. She's feeling inspired. She's um, feeling like the harvestable she ate, that coconut, is just okay. Could, that definitely tasted natural. Could use some more flavor. Well, I mean, if you eat a whole coconut, you're probably going to not feel great about it. Oh, hold on. Kai has baby fever? Oh, I don't think so. No way. No how. We're not having more babies. Um, here, go sail. Sail around. What are you waiting for? There you go. I thought that'd be fun for him. He needs to have a little bit of fun. I think his job is sort of like, I don't know, he might not be cut out for work. <laughs> like, I think he just wants to spend his days on the island and not working. And he's just not a big fan. Um, so what else can we do around here? There's really not a lot. I feel like we have done literally everything there is to do. Um, oh, there's a the food you can get at this little stand, which is cute. Um, you can get fish tacos, fish and chips, fish sandwich, fish stew, pan fried fish, or poke bowl. Um, pokey, pokey? Pokey. I think it's pokey. I don't even know. Pokemon? Who knows? Um, but I don't, I don't think she would like any of that because she's a child of the ocean. So let, let's get Maui to come get some food. He can get a fish sandwich. That sounds good. But yeah, Leilani won't actually eat fish. Or she will, but she'll be sad about it. So I don't really want to do that to her. I'm going to get Maui to come over here instead. Man, he's sad. He is, like, so pathetic today. Like, I, I thought this would make him feel better. I'm not sure why he's still uncomfortable from his surroundings. Like, he's in a clean environment. So he should feel better. There's your fish sandwich. Um, okay. This thing's cool, too. Like, I have no idea what that is. It's completely useless, but I do like it. Um, I like this little fishing area, too. Like, how it's netted off, and you can just sort of stick your fishing rod in there and um, hang out with a bunch of locals. 
So Leilani, I think that she is pretty much um, swimmed out. Let's get her some food. Actually, here, let's serve spaghetti. Okay, let's have spaghetti. I don't, I don't see why not. Um, I'll put this in the garbage. How's Kai doing? He's doing pretty good, actually. Um, just kind of sailing around. So I think what I'm going to do now is just kind of give my final thoughts on this pack. Um, now that it's been out for over a month, I don't even know how long, like two months? I seriously don't know. <laughs> I'm so bad at that. I don't know how long this has been out for. I can't remember the release date, but we have played through 13 parts of this series. And overall, um, there's been a lot of negative feedback, I would say, about this pack. People say that it's not... Um, detailed enough and there's not enough to do. I do agree that there isn't plenty to do. Um, you can kind of play, you can kind of do everything in a day, honestly. Um, the Sims 3 Island Paradise was just, it just pales in comparison. And a lot of people said it's not fair to, com to compare both packs, but I disagree. I think that it's completely fair to, to compare them because it's still the same game and we still have that experience. So yes, I do sort of um, expect them to be better each with each new pack and with this one no island paradise was way better uh sulani is the most beautiful world i've ever seen in any of the games i would say in the sims 3 i mean sims 2 i'm not even gonna go there They're, the world sucked but it's the most beautiful world in the sims 4 hands down and better than any of the worlds we got in the sims 3 as well it is so pretty so well detailed, so realistic, and I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to play in this world some more. Um, but as in terms of gameplay, it is a little bit lacking. There's not a, a ton of things to do. Um, I kind of think they did the bare minimum just to sort of make us happy. And I'm a little disappointed that we can't come here to a vacation. What I was originally hoping for was a vacation world um, or vacation pack where your sims could actually go to a resort um, like in The Sims 2 and um, sort of go on like family vacations. That's what I really wanted, but um, this is still good. <laughs> I still want the vacation pack. I still want to be able to do that, but this is a really um, well, de well, not well detailed, again, well detailed world. But in terms of the pack, I definitely don't think it's as good as what we were expecting. I did enjoy this Let's Play a lot though. I hope that you guys did as well. And um, I hope that it doesn't d deter you from wanting to get this pack. I would say it's definitely worth the money. It's still, even just for the world and for the build and buy items and for the cast items, I would say it's worth the money and you should definitely get it if that's why you are watching this, just to see if it's worth getting. I think it's a lot of fun, but I'm gonna wrap up this series right here. Um, thank you for playing with the, with the Kamaka family with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you would like to see this family come back in a different series later on down the road, please let me know and we could possibly uh, bring them back. But yeah, if you enjoyed this episode and this series, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.